Hi everyone. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Northern British Columbia uh, and I finally have five minutes to sit down and do this tutorial for uh, what I've been calling the Lady Mary Nod. Um, we can call it anything we want. Uh, Stephanie, what have you. Uh, but basically I've been watching a lot of Downton Abbey because it's actually been very rainy. This is one of our few sunny days in a while. And I tried to get to thinking and said, if Lady Mary Crawley, the one in the same, was a head wrap, you know, what should it be? What, uh, how would she do it? So basically after quite a bit of sort of playing around, I came up with essentially something that has, you know, some detail on the side, detail on the back, and almost emulating finger waves on the front. You can do this with any two scarves. When I first posted it to the fan group, I did it with a shimmery and a, and a signature. In this case, I'm going to show the tutorial with the second posting I did, which is with a two-in-one and a shiny licious and some lace. But you could literally do this with anything. Uh, the thicker the scarf, the thicker the detail on the back and the knot on the side. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's interpretation of this. Uh, so we're going to start today. Uh, I have an ultimate on. Any shaper would work fine. You could probably do this without volume as well because of course the uh, sort of focus of it here is on, is on the side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gotta love the cats. Uh, the focus is on the side. Uh, but, you know, I, I prefer volume, uh, so we're going to do this with an ultimate today. So, we need a couple of things. You need a long rectangular scarf, in this case a brown two-in-one, and a mulberry shiny licious. Uh, I also have the dreamy lace, uh, because I said I wanted to add lace to the wrap, but that's optional. And I also have a fancy pin. Again, totally optional step here. Uh, you could literally just do the knot and the sort of gathering on the back. But to start it off, we're going to take our two-in-one and tie it just a little bit off-center. One end a little long, one end a little short. Uh, and we're going to tie this on an angle. Uh, you'll see why in a second. Now, of course, you don't have to tie it on an angle. Uh, you don't have to do this. Again, you could just tie it like a normal scarf, but I'm going to do this on an angle. I also did a crisscross because, uh, you know, I try to stay away from double knots when I wear more than one scarf because I get uh, headaches. So I'm going to crisscross this today. And we're going to fold up the fringes, just like we're going to do a regal wrap, only we're going to bring it up on an angle to create a, what is essentially, you know, a side part almost. And we're going to bring a lot of volume uh, up at the front here, and then you're just going to tuck this away. Now, it doesn't have to be super neat, because of course you're going to be bringing your second scarf over top of this. So... He said the sun's come out in force, so I hope this doesn't make the video too sunny. What we're going to do is just take our fancy pin and we're going to put it in the front here. And we're going to use that pin to create almost finger waves. You're going to pull forward so you have a lot of texture, which I think the sun will actually help me in this case show this off. Just lots of texture. Until you kind of have, you know, the front sort of how you'd like it there. Perfect, again, that's completely optional. Uh, you don't have to do the texture, you don't have to do the angle, you could literally just tie this on like a normal scarf. So again, one short end, one long end. Uh, and the same thing for the second scarf. We're gonna tie it off center, but we do need to be careful because we need to make sure that the long end of our second scarf ends up on the same side as the long end of our two-in-one. So, of course, that means the long end has to be over here because they're going to switch when you crisscross them. And, you know, not crazy off-center, just enough that, you know, you've got more length sort of in one side than the other. Um, you know, I usually bring it right up to the clip here, but play around with it. I like to show off, you know, the, the awesome texture that I've created back there. When I'm going to just gather and crisscross. Perfect. So now we've got, uh, you know, two long ends on the same side and one short end. Now this is the part where you could literally skip straight to the knot. You don't have to do anything else. 
Uh, I'm going to add Dreamy Lace because I figured if Lady Mary was a head wrap, it would involve lace. I'm also completely obsessed with lace and try to use it whenever I can. <laughs> Fix that there, perfect. Uh, the dreamy lace I usually do not because I don't like it going away on me. So bring the tails. Uh, you want to bring the tails of the dreamy lace to the same side that you're going to end up with the knot on, which is this side, which will be opposite the long end. So now we've got sort of all these these tails happening. So here comes the part that looks complicated, but is actually really simple. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna make sure that our dreamy lace tails are on top because that way when you bring it up, it sort of comes out the bottom. So you're gonna make sure that this comes up. You're gonna take your first scarf, in this case, the brown two-in-one, and you're gonna bring it up, showing a little bit of the, you know, the mulberry of the second scarf there, but covering the dreamy lace. And then, as I said before, you know, you're going to bring your short end up just like you're going to do beginner's luck, making sure that you're tucking your dreamy lace in underneath. So if you don't know how to do beginner's luck, there is a Rapunzel video on beginner's luck, but basically all you do is you bring uh, the, the back tail forward and then under to create a sort of knot. Now, you'd normally pull it all the way, of course, but in this case, we're leaving this awesome little loop de dupe here. So you can see this sort of random loop. I'm gonna just kind of leave that like that. Uh, it's not finished, don't worry. We're not leaving the house like this. <laughs> now you're gonna take your, your second end and we're gonna bring it up as well. And again, being, you know, careful where you layer, that sort of thing. And here comes the part that looks complicated, but is really simple. So you've got you know these two tails down and you've got this weird loop. So you're gonna put your finger through the loop and you're gonna come, you're gonna take this second uh, scarf and you're gonna pull it through the loop from the back. You can't pull it from the front because then it's gonna hide the knot. You have to pull it from the back. So we're just going to pull this like so. So you've got the knot, uh, the, the tail through the loop and then, you know, again, we've got this sort of crazy loop de doop thing happening. I promise, again, we're not done here. What you're going to do... Quick, brief, technical difficulties. <laughs> but we will get through this tutorial. I promise I had to go search my phone because, of course, the first one uh, decided to just randomly stop recording. But uh, I promised to do this tutorial today, so we're going to do it. So we've been left with uh, the, the beautiful tail we've pulled through the loop. And, of course, this sort of you know, tail sticking out the front here that creates the knot in the first place. So what we're gonna do is holding this nice and straight so that nothing sort of goes awry, we're just gonna pull this nice and tight. So we pull our loop tight and we've got it sort of flat against the side of our head without too much bulk. Then, this is how we create the really fun sort of detail that's on the back. It's very simple actually. We're just gonna fold the fringy bits in and twist, 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 and then we're going to tuck into the, the sort of pocket created by the shiny licious as we brought it up. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see that. Awesome. Now, one more twist and tuck. So we're gonna grab the brown tail that's kind of hanging out at the front here. And we still have the tail left over from the scarf that was pulled through. So we're just gonna make sure that it's sort of nice and neat. And then we're going to pull over top. Now what this does is it keeps the knot gathered close to our head and it creates almost like a fake out of, you know, like a third sort of knot. Once it's kind of tight to, to our head, and we're around the back, we're gonna twist and tuck again. Now obviously, if I was, you know, leaving the house, I'd be very particular about how all of this looks. 
fringy wise and like I said the are endless opportunities to uh, make this bigger, make this thicker, uh, play with the twists. You can twist them around each other. I did that uh, the very first time I posted it to make some really cool detail. Uh, you can even take it a step further and do the exact same thing. Just twist this tail up and tuck it again, creating, you know, not only an interesting sort of side detail here, but creating even another layer on this beautiful side knot and leaving down your dreamy lace. Again, if you didn't have the dreamy lace, you could literally tuck this all up. So you don't have to have tails with this wrap. You can leave it down, tuck it up, uh, do it with any two scarves. And in the end, you're left with this really beautiful sort of very fancy looking complicated knot that is not complicated at all. Very easy to do like most of our wraps, uh, much simpler than they look. So. Thank you for bearing with me, and I cannot wait to see everyone's Lady Marys uh, go forth, wrap boldly, and, you know, let's uh, emulate the spirit of our wonderful Downton Abbey.